All right. Um, haven't done a video in quite a long time. I've been really busy. And quite frankly, it takes a lot of effort to do a video. I don't have the time really to edit them the way I'd like to, but uh, I thought this was worthy of uh, making a video, uh, pre present uh, a video on how to hydro test a boiler. Now, this is a boiler I built, and I'm not going to go into the construction of it. I'm not going to talk about how I welded it. I'm not going to talk about any of the construction of it at all. But I just all we're here to talk about right now is how to hydro test it. This is for a K4, and it's an identical copy to the 1361 boiler, which is right over there in the other room, the locomotive right over there for the winter. Now, this is the hydro pump, and I got this off of eBay. It's a regular hydro pump they use. They, they use this to test um, high, um, fire hoses, I think. But anyway, I rigged it up with some really good check valves, which I happen to have, and then have a hydraulic type of a hose here, and a union, a, va um, a ball valve up here, and then, of course, a pressure gauge, which is good to up to 600 pounds. Now, we filled the boiler here. Me and Dan built this boiler, my son, by the way. We, we spent about four to five weeks building this part-time and nighttime when he came home after work. I came here and we worked on it. And then during the day, I would do the welding. I did all the welding. It's all TIG welded, T-I-G. I just said I was going to talk about it, but that's TIG welding. Okay. And um, you open up. When you do it, you got to open up something, let the air out, right? Okay, so we open up. This is the highest point. If you notice, it's like just about here. Now, you got to get all the air out of it because you, you just have to. Of course, the air gets out right away. If you got a leak, it just automatically comes out. Okay, so now I got these fittings here. I got the got the a ball valve here because when you reach the 400 pounds, we shut that off because it will leak back through here through the check valves and this and that. It only takes one little drop, just a little drop. It'll drop 30 pounds, no problem. Okay, now of course I also rigged it up with some eye bolts here, and uh, so you can pick it up. It's heavy. Now that's full of water. We we took our time and pumped it up with the. We filled it up with, with the pump here. And how we did that is that this is a, just a, a reservoir. It's not a tank. Don't go nuts and tell me it's a PVC tank. I don't want to hear that. It's just a reservoir to hold the water. Okay. And uh, we fill that up with water. And uh, we pump, fill it up until the water come out of here is the first point. And then one of these was com water coming out of it was the second point. And just as, as it's full, you screw the pump in, tighten it up. Of course, you pipe, piped open, whatever. And then you pump it up. And then, you know, you just, whoop. See that? Oh, Dan. Oh, I got to open that. And it's going up already. Right now, it's up to 150, and we'll get it up to 400, and uh, we'll hold it there. I, when I get to 400, I knock that off, and we hold it there. Now, do you see this dripping here? That's just this fitting dripping. It doesn't mean anything. That's just a fitting here because the, it, the, it stopped at this point. And uh, we hold it, I hold it for uh, 400, 400 plus, 450, 425. I hold it for about 15 minutes, and I watch the clock. 15 minutes goes by, and I watch the gauge, make a note of where it is, and uh, wait to see if it drops. Now, believe it or not, it we when you put it under hydro, it will expand everything and open up uh, a hole. It's possible. I mean, you have to find them. You have to dump all the water out of it. Or at least get it down below the well where you got to fix it. You grind it out. You grind the pinhole. You got to grind it out, and then you go back and fill it in. Whether what you use, whatever kind of method you're going to use. Like I said, I use a TIG weld, and we fill it in, and and that takes care of it. Now, prior to this, I use air. Once I get the boiler complete, I fill it 
fill all, uh, plug all the holes, and then I put air in there. And I test it with, uh, I just got this stuff from the plumbing supply store. It's um, mega bubbles. It's a special stuff. And it's, it's, it's just basically, basically it's just a, a really heavy soap. And you can do it with soap and soapy water. And you put it on there, and then you mark it. Just take a, a chalk, circle it, you know, with the chalk, with the chalk, you know, circle it, circle them, circle them. And then I, I always try to do the leaks. Like if there's a leak up here, I'll do it in this way. I always want to go down because I like to burn them in and like puddle them in. Because when you're on the side, they want to run down and all. So I do everything as much as I can on the sides. Now, when you do these fittings here, if you got a leak around these fittings, which almost occurs a lot, what you got to do is take the plug out. You got to take the plug out, and then you weld around or fix the weld, and then re-tap it because this goes out around. Just take a little tap and kind of just feel your way in there, and then put the plug back. But you don't want to weld it with that plug in there because it will stick in there, and you'll never get it out. You'll have to drill it out. Now, I want to mention on this boiler, this piece you see sticking out right here, right here, am I good? This piece you see sticking out right here is uh, uh, a part to hook the, hold the throttle, the throttle lever, and then the rod will go through the center of this, out to that end. And then this one is another through stay, and that's to pass whatever you want to put a line through there, or uh, usually the blower line goes through. Now on a K4, it's a little unique, because these two pieces right here are fittings for the boiler checks. Now, on a K4, they didn't have them up in the front, as usual convention. They put them on here, and then this is connected or silver soldered to a 3 8 stainless tubing. And it runs all the way up to the front, and there's a, a piece of pipe in here welded to the side of the boiler, a, a, just a half-inch pipe that the pipe passes through to stop it from bouncing up and down. Because when you're, run, you know, you're moving it, especially when you're moving it around, it'll be bouncing, and it'll fatigue and break. So I got something up there to hold it. And these are the feeds. The check valves will go here. Of course, it's the firebox door. And then this, this uh, also has a stainless steel arch that I made for this fella. And it goes in. It's quarter-inch stainless, and then this goes on top. It has bars that sit here, right here and here, to hold it. And you need to have that. You've got to have it in two pieces because it's got to be able to go through this door here. And then, of course, I got the grate bars under there. Well, that's it. And then you test it, and you hold it, and send it out the door. Now, this is number 87. I built 87 boilers. There's people around built more, but I don't, I don't care to build them that much because uh, it's a dirty, nasty job grinding and lugging the stuff around. And I'm going to be 69 in a month, and I can't pick these up anymore. I need my son to flip it and turn it. We got a crane over here, you know, which pick it up with the crane, and that helps. But um, that's it. So that's how you hide your test of boiler. I mean, that's the prop, prop, proper procedure. And one other thing I want to mention that uh, people say, they comment in their comments, but you talk too much. Well, I see some of these videos, the guy's going, I figure it makes it more interesting. If you don't like me talking, hit the mute. What do you want from me? Get over it. Okay. Well, that's it on hydro testing. And I'm not going to go, like I said, I'm not going to go into the, to the, uh, the particulars of the boiler and uh, so on. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video.